All right, let's uh, let's do a little uh, update here and uh, on uh, present. Uh, this was involved in MK Ultra. This this here involved in MK Ultra. Involved involved uh, news at the parking space. Investigator stopped by. Uh, talk to one. Uh, this is all part of MK Ultra. All this stuff, blah blah. This is why I am recording this stuff because I want to issue a few facts about uh, how things are here with me. Uh, things here are with me. The parking lot, hey, in front of his apartment building. Uh, let me explain to you something. Quite some news that I do have to uh, consider this news. It's very important for me to touch this news here. Uh, the Tito's granddaughter that was involved in this MK Ultra since my childhood. Um, Veljubljani. Um, well, it, it's like this. Let me explain about this. Um, it was this, this, this was part of MK Ultra also. And she stated to me, do not interfere in it uh, once you see this news coming. Well, the thing is that this is my case. This is the case that will never belong to Udba. Uh, nobody involved with the Udba, with absolutely whatever connection to one will be resolved in this case this is also what uh i'm not going to say this is what made this case but this is what made me and my allowing anyone to interfere in my case especially the one who was connected straight to the psychiatric hospital ljubljana polje uh, is an absolute no. So to this, we're going to say absolute no. In fact, I'm going to be with the one who's going to say we will meet, if you like, once my case is over with. Or never. This is up to you. But nobody will be resolving this case from Josip Brostito family. This is one thing. I don't hold nothing against her, not against her uh, daughter, actually beautiful daughter, uh, but this is how it is. Um, the two had a plan to move to Slovenia. The thing is, I'm not impressed with Slovenia. Uh, I don't care, really, about Slovenia, to put it straight. Um, for Slovenia, I did not even exist. For Slovenia, I wanted to kill me for over 50 years work on genocide to get me murdered, to get me killed, to get me destroyed. I have no reason to see myself in Slovenia absolutely anyway. I haven't seen other than traitor next to traitor when it comes to Slovenia. So, you want to be in Ljubljana? I welcome you myself. Please, be happy, live a happy life in Ljubljana. But as far as my case, nobody's gonna, none of you is going to be resolving my case. This is just as simple as this. 
all Josip Broz Tito grandkids, his kids, supported genocide against me. It was everything Belgrade that pushed forward murderous agenda against me, together with Croatian state, to make myself clear. At one point, Croatian state no longer could push genocide against me because the evidence became too clear. And then it was a certain portion of Bros family that drastically changed uh, side. I'm not going to say views. I'm not going to say these people didn't sympathize with me. But the truth is, I don't know whom they sympathized with. It is simple as this. Um, I'd be interested in learning more about these people. But I will never, ever resolve anyone involved in UDBA or with UDBA to resolve this case. Even Mr. Hvalica. You know Mr. Hvalica from Croatia? I'm going to do a video for him. Uh, Now, actually, that's the wrong person. Uh, I have not considered uh, this person when I mentioned uh, Uh, hey, hey. Uh, let's do it like this. Is it um, we're gonna take this here? Uh, even the gentleman that you see here, uh, what the fuck I did wrong? Okay, this gentleman was very, very pro Croatian gentleman. Uh, but here is the thing he suggested me that. Uh, To get to me, he would not even object, which it shouldn't be the case I should do, but he would not even object marriage with uh, Tito is granddaughter or daughter. He would not stop if that would be possible, is what this man here you see stated me. But this is just not going to happen. Uh, I'm not saying that this man here is a Udba guy. Uh, but if I go over the interview as to what he presented uh, as uh, what these people anticipated, I suppose, that I would see myself in as a part of reality, uh, this is just uh, not going to happen. This individual here, he hosted inside of the studio, is, 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 this is, this is, this is worse than Milan Kuchan. He worked for Milan Kuchan, but is worse than Borat Power, this guy. This was more effective, more damaging to my case individual uh, than Borat Power, this individual that you see right there. So for me to align myself to absolutely anyone from Slovenia or from Croatia or wherever, that's just never going to happen. Uh, Based on what I have seen, 
that's not going to happen. I'm not going to say that's not going to ever happen. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but based on what I have seen, based on meeting people I have seen, uh, people who saved basically, you know, the best, this man, uh, Belgrade was his, became his second home. Uh, the best, saving the best for the last? Well, uh, let me explain to you something. In your wildest dreams, not even in your wildest dreams, that's not going to happen. I outline my path clearly and will enforce one. Through psychiatry, through police, walk on their throats, stump, stumble, smash, smack, crash their throats, kick their heads out of existence through the courts, enforce my way out. I did not go all the way to be greeted at the end by the people who committed this genocide and enforced genocide against me through the international community. That is never, ever going to happen. And I'm not saying that she is or her granddaughter, or I should say her daughter, uh, this is a granddaughter of Josip Broz Tito. It is just not going to happen. Why is it like this? This is, this is such, a, such a stand I'm taking. Well, basically because I will never, ever, for as long as I'm alive, affiliate myself in absolutely any way with the Serbia. In absolutely any way with the Yugo Nostalgia, it's called Yugo, Yugo Nostalgy. Whoever is going to see me will think about something else than Yugo Nostalgia. Whoever is going to see himself or herself in me will know, will recognize that this was the case, undisputable rejection of the Serbia, undisputable rejection of Yugo, Udba, fantasy about ability to go out there and kill and murder people on a bright daylight through the psychiatry, butcher people, barricade homes with the police, and butcher people at mercy as pleased with the support of the United States of America government, British royals, and Germans with whom Yugoslav Udba remnants of Yugoslav Udba, such as Tanya Fayon, whose husband also is German, work hand in hand with one another for the Ribbentrop-Molotov plan with the Russia. That's not going to happen here. And if this is just not the case, the Germans somehow, somehow do not participate in that plan, which hopefully never will get through. Based on what I have, based on my observation, based on what I have seen as far as the political uh, turmoil, uh, Germans are working together with Russians. We have a strong lobby in the United States of America that is clearly uh, siding with the Russian side. Uh, as to corrupt European lobby, which is totally submitted itself to portrayal, to the grand portrayal uh, of German participation in Ukraine for the cost of burnt Ukrainian to the ground cities and numerous people killed, exiled, and so on. Uh, I am not for this kind of politic. Uh, there is a lot of uh, different directions in what I stated. Everybody sees itself in uh, something, but it's always the people that are at the top that pull all the strings, and they always get it right. You can pull whichever way you want, but it always adds up to whatever the people at the top uh, not the people, but people at the top, uh, people with the special interests. 
produce oil, basically. This is just not going to happen. I reject anything like this. The two are going to move to Ljubljana. I would say to the both of them, welcome to Ljubljana, welcome to Slovenia. Um, I don't have anything else I would say uh, in respect to this case here. This, however, will not be resolved by any Tito, Yossi Bros Tito, uh, children, grandchildren, or grand grandchildren, or, or whoever. Uh, nor this stuff is going to be resolved by the people who committed this. Uh, it will not be resolved by those who created this cause. I will not allow this. Um, Slovenia committed atrocity. Slovenia is accountable for this atrocity. The world must recognize what Slovenia is. Slovenia got uh, uh, earned freedom through the 10-day war. Uh, this was a very, very short war. Uh, and have, because of what I stated, uh, clowned on international scene with me, gambled with my life, I was treated indifferently as for, to what I would say you would treat with a woman, that you would rape, slap, terrorize, torture, death threaten, uh, indifferent from a bear in a cage. As to what Russians historically were entertained, Russians historically loved to entertain, torture bears, cage them, uh, pin them to the ground with a chain, uh, parade with them. Uh, it's something that that is Russian in a Russian uh, in a Russian nature that was just. Uh, and form of entertainment, amusement. They were always looking for something, uh, something like this, uh, basically primitive, bestial. Uh, bestial because they have seen bears, animals, as beasts. They've seen animals as evil, as uh, something historically Russians have seen in animals, uh, competitors. A dangerous competitors whom they have managed, however, to somehow subdue under control, under the human control. And they were really fascinated with animals inside of the cage. And this is what Russians did to me since my early childhood. This is what Slovenia enforced for the sake of Russia since my early childhood through the Belgrade, through the Yugoslavia. Slovenia got freedom. Through me, I more than paid for it all. Uh, I could say I paid for it with my life. I lost 52 years of my life. Tomorrow, I'm going to be 52. Nobody, none of these comebacks is going to be solved in this case. No Slovenian will be solving this case. No Slovenian, I refuse. I refuse. Tomorrow I'm going to be 52 years old, yet at age 52 I had no right to even postal services. It is also go to international society, such as United Nations, which representatives have supported genocide against me. They supported genocide against me and have seen themselves in acts of genocide, those who enforce genocide against me in Slovenia for their benefit. This man, his name is Milan Kuchan. And this is his biography according to Slovenian government.
This is what they post for every Slovenian. He was born in 1941 and had no fucking idea what the World War II is or was or what the World War II was about because he alone became a tool of hatred indifferent from neo-Nazi Germany or Stalinist Soviet Union. This murderer, however, used me to promote to advertise himself to international society, which consequently, due to acts of genocide against me, recognized him as an international figure at the United Nations, at many other uh, institutions. He became Slovenian, first Slovenian president, as for myself during uh, Slovenian independence, the genocide, just as this man stated, the genocide is just going to be for you 10 times worse than it would be in Yugoslavia. That's all there is. He said, this is what he told me is going to be for you, Slovenian independence. Make no mistake, he was right. I will put this uh, below uh, so that this is a humanist. I had a big problem with the humanists, those involved in MKUltra uh, know that I hated nothing more than the human rights and the humanists because this individual, this is like the man that was owner of my life. This is the man that would do like snap with the fingers. And I found myself inside of a psychiatric hospital and in many worse locations than that. This is the man of terror. This is the man who participate poisoning, mistreatment, torture, enforce one literally in London, through the London, together, through the Moscow, with American lobby, Berlin, throughout the world. So, uh, this is a very complicated case. And my acknowledging suffering consequences of the mental illness which through the court authority, through the police, through the psychiatry, we got, this is a king, this is not a humanist, this is not a politician, this is king, this is lord, this is dictator, for whom, by the way, I proposed to be hanged in front of his house in Murglia in 1996 when I was drugged up, tortured in Murglia, Ljubljana, where they would butcher me also at his house in his Murglia. I proposed for this man to have his quarter of Ljubljana, Murglia, surrounded with a barbed wire and hanged together with other prisoners. A king, a baron, capitalist, who lived life 100 times better than British royals, luxus, luxur, unfucking imaginable when compared to myself, prestige, based on lies, torture, who, however, pronounced himself as a communist to get extra power next to the humanism issues he became recognized with in China and throughout the world in development, 
previously known also as Neuverschani. That's basically not that uh, it was a Warsaw and NATO pact, and there was a third option for countries that did not belong to either of the two options. So this is this is uh, this is the issue. I am a disgrace of this world. Disgrace uh, that require people to see themselves in most disgusting acts they committed against me, so they could somehow, uh, with their memories on disgusting stuff they committed against me, see themselves in mirrors. I'm very specific about who is going to recognize this case, who did how much, who belonged to what kind of option, and foremost, what exactly was the legacy that you advertise to the world your brand is, like whether you were Tito or you're where you belong to the Nelson Mandela or whatever, wherever you belong, you're from Israel or wherever you, uh, you cried about injustice, about the Second World War, uh, uh, suffering in the past, yet you have participated in enforced genocide against me. Very, very, very particular talking to United Nations about this, which leaders did absolutely everything to accommodate what you see. I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with it. This is just to let you know that as far as I'm concerned, I am willing to meet with the people like this because they're people. It would be interesting to get to know people. For me to, however, absolutely affiliate myself in any way, see myself through Josip Broz Tito, uh, UDBA, Psychiatric Hospital Ljubljana Polje, uh, Slovenian politicians that, what the fuck did you wait it for so long? What did you wait it, what had you? You know something I'm gonna say to you motherfuckers? The people in Auschwitz or Dachau that you cry, oh, we were exiled to the Dachau in Auschwitz. Ah, poor me, Jew. Poor me, Slovenian. Poor me, Polak. Poor me, Ukrainian. Poor me, Russian. Poor me, who the fuck knows what. Hey. You know what, you motherfuckers? You are the one who waited behind the barbed wire for the Allies to come to liberate you. But in my case, I had no one to wait to liberate me because of you. You sided with the evil. Evil surrounded me from all the sides possible, including organizations such as United Nations that destined themselves, that uh, attributed themselves to the new better world after the Second World War II replacing the so-called League of the Nations. So this case, you're not going to be the sole one just like this. Oh, well, you know, yeah, it's something like that. Fuck you. Fuck your stories about your Dachau and about the Auschwitz. By the way, my father knew what the Second World War was about. He did found himself also due to what he did. At the local train station with his father, I told you about my grandfather, who he was. They were about to be deported to the Auschwitz with entire family. And these are the people that replace the real value of this world. And I would go to the such a fuckling shit garbage like this, disgust, fucklets, to recognize my case, to say, oh, well, you know, after all, he fucking existed, man. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck you, eh? Take it to Belgrade or Moscow. 
or Kiev or Warsaw or whatever the fuck, or Zagreb or Ljubljana, wherever the fuck. But don't come in front of me now, after 52 years. At least one time in my life, I'm going to get a right deal. You proved me everything in my life I did was wrong. But this time, you're not going to prove me wrong. Thanks for watching this video. There will be no next time.